A mosquito was found fossilized with blood in its belly. Dare I say that we'll be seeing a dinosaur soon? Hey everyone, I'm Trace and you're watching D News. This week, humans rediscovered a fossilized mosquito with blood inside of it. Jurassic Park might have you thinking that we find these things all the time, but in real life, this is the first time ever. In fact, it's only the fifth time scientists have ever found a fossilized blood-eating insect in human history. I say rediscovered, by the way, because it was actually found 30 years ago by a geology student who was digging around in Montana. After his summer program ended, the fossil went into a box in a museum basement. Add another one of those uh, discoveries to the list of things that we found in the bottom of science's closet. When are we getting dinosaurs from this fossil? Well, we're not. A couple things about this little insect that differs from the fictional world of Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park. The mosquito was found not in amber, but in oil shale, and it's only 46 million years old. Dinos were long extinct by that time. During a cataloging project, a volunteer discovered the specimen contained stable red blood. Again, first time we've ever found that. Get excited. So how did we get a mosquito to end up in shale rock in the first place? Shale is pretty much heavily compacted mud, so it could be this mosquito had a meal, got stuck in the mud, or perhaps it was raining and it drowned in shallow water. Regardless, mud trapped it and it was compacted over millions of years. The impression of this wonderful specimen was left behind. The blood inside is the huge discovery, but not for the reason that you're thinking. There's no possible way to know what kind of blood the insect ingested. Not because of the shale, but because DNA only has a half-life of 521 years, even in perfect conditions. Basically, every 521 years, half of the DNA degrades. So after 1,042 years, there was only 25% of the DNA. After 46 million, 0.001% of the DNA. So we're pretty much millions of years late for that party. Even though DNA doesn't survive the fossilization process, we now know that using x-rays and mass spectroscopy, scientists learned that blood leaves behind a fingerprint during fossilization, opening the doors to understanding the evolution of the blood-eating insects themselves and how they've gotten to today. This is kind of exciting, right? Are you disappointed that we can't make a T-Rex or are you happy that we learned something new? Tell us your thoughts in the comments and we'll be sure to keep on top of the latest in science news if you keep watching. Thanks for stopping by DNews today. Savetesttube.com slash DNews for more videos.